I'm Dr. Richard Fouquet of Applied Biosystems, and I'm going to show you the benefits of the cells to CT method versus traditional RNA purification. What I've got here is the lysis solution with the DNase 1 already added, and cells that have been cultured in a 96 well plate. We've removed the media and washed the cells once with PBS. The first thing we'll do is add lysis solution to the cells in the plate. We then mix up and down five times with the pipetter and incubate at room temperature for five minutes. Every 30 seconds, we'll start another row. And before the five minutes is up, we'll have added lysis solution to the entire plate. After the five minutes at room temperature is complete, we need to stop the lysis reaction. What I've done is aliquoted out the stop solution into strip well tubes, which will allow me to use a multi-channel pipette. Again, we add five microliters of stop solution to each reaction. We then pipette up and down five times to mix. After we've added stop solution to the last row, we again incubate for two minutes at room temperature. And after less than 10 minutes, we've processed 96 samples that are now ready for reverse transcription. Using the traditional RNA purification method, we're only at the binding to the column step. We still have washes, elution, and a DNA digestion to go. And that can take 30 or most likely 60 minutes. And that's only processing 12 samples. I could process 96 samples using the cells to CT kit. And in the 30 or 60 minutes it would take to do 12 samples, I could process hundreds of samples using the cells to CT kit.